Yo, 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 what's up my kings, my G's, and my gents today? We have a very, very, very special treat for y'all and I know y'all haven't talked about this. I know y'all daddies hasn't talked to you about this. I know y'all mommies hasn't talked to you about this. Today is barber etiquette. Barber etiquette, you feel me? Why are you as excited as I am? Because I'm tired of customers coming in here. Not even customers, I'm tired of clients coming in here not knowing what they want. Yeah, that's facts. Why don't y'all know what you want? I'm here to help you. I love all my clients. I just want to make sure you look good. <laughs> you feel me? Like, yeah. this is my main man's E right here. Tell me your IG real quick, bro. Yuri, history grooming. History grooming, you feel me? Already. My main man B right here. He put me onto the shop. Helped me when I was a little git, a little youngin', you feel me? Tell me your IG real quick. It's main shop, actually. Main shop, you feel me? I'll leave all the little tags and links to anyone's profiles in the description below i'll also leave it on the screen as well a barber etiquette like what, what's the first thing that comes to y'all minds when you think of barber etiquette though um the first thing that comes to mind off the top um those clients that come into the shop right and uh let's say they just come in and walk straight past a barber or two and just go straight to their barber and say see my thing is, when you come into a barber shop, I feel like you should say what's up to all the barbers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe right. not necessarily all the clients, if you want to shoot up a peace sign, all the clients, maybe. But at the very least, all the barbers. Say what's up to all the barbers, you know? Because you're you're essentially yeah. entering their domain. Yeah. Would you let somebody come in your house and not say what's up to your your brother or your sister or your mommy or dad? Word. Just because they hit, no. You say Word. what's up to the domain. It keeps everybody loose, you know? It keeps anything. You know, it just, it's, I think, I think it's, it'll be a better environment off the, off the top. It's a big fact. I definitely feel like if you just acknowledge someone being there, you're just going to have no problems with that person being there. You feel me? Right, yeah. Like you walk into a shop, like he said, you just want to say hi to all the barbers. But let's say someone doesn't want to say hi to all the barbers. What then? Like, honestly, personally for me, I really don't care if one of my man's clients don't want to say hi. But I'm always just a natural type to be like, yo, what's up, my G? Like, yo, you got a fresh cut. Like, you know, I don't mind talking to them if they don't like talking to me first. What about you, bro? Yeah, I mean, that's that's cool. And I, and I, and I get it, the type that, that doesn't want to say what's up. But again, look at it like this. Like, this is someone's domain. This is where we spend a lot of hours here. You know, we're here, we're working, we're here to provide a service. So we would, it would be, it would be, you know, it would be nice or appreciated if uh, someone said what's up to you. You feel me? Now, like, if they don't, that's fine. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's not, I'm it's not going to not sleep, but. Barbers just need some love too. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Barbers <laughs> just need some love to just say what's up. What just happened? Yeah, what just happened? Yeah, what's up to me? Like, yo, now I feel the type of way I'm now. Right here. Right here. You know? Now my days ruined, bro. I'm gonna mess up all my hair because because of you. I yeah, know, right? I might as well just go home. <laughs> yo, man, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit now, bro. <laughs> show my way out the door. Word. Word. Like, word. Word. I don't know, but it's just it's just a conversation we have, and it's like one of those things where it's like uh, just a respect thing, right? Right. Just right, a respect right, thing. Right, right. I would definitely consider that a respect thing. And if you do come into the barber shop, you feel me and. Let's say you already have a barber. You feel me? You already have a set barber at that barber shop. If you make an appointment with your barber, please, please, please be on time. I promise you. You keep slacking. I promise you. Your barber is not gonna want to make time for you. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely facts. You all. We all experience that. I have so many clients that have slacked on me for so long, and it just comes to the point where like I don't want to risk my time for you anymore. You're inconsistent. Right. Us as right. barbers, I feel like we can fire clients. Oh no, we definitely, we definitely can. And also, that um, I don't think, I don't think it's taken into consideration what happens to your day when one barber is late. Instead, like, come on, keep it, keep. Let's be honest here. We all know we're gonna be late. I've had clients schedule me for one <laughs> thirty, right? And he texts me at 12.50, I'm gonna be late. Yo, you're 40 minutes out from your appointment. How do you know you're gonna be late? 
he shows up late. So you, you kind of get the idea that you're going to be late. Yeah. Whether you're running errands, whether you're with the family. And we get all that, things happen. And but that give goes, us a heads up. Exactly. And I feel like that goes both ways, though. The barber has to be on time as well. Absolutely. 100%. You feel me? Like, I can definitely say I've made so many appointments. Not so many, you feel me? But I've made a few appointments. <laughs> I've made a few appointments in the morning where I just didn't wake up. And I'm like, you know what? Yo, that's my fault, bro. I, I messed up. But whenever that happens, I feel like I can always offer a free haircut. A free Com service, free cut, what have you. Whatever, whatever you want, bro. Absolutely. As long as you still happy, as long as you still want to rock with me, I don't mind giving up a free haircut in order to keep that long-term client with me. Absolutely. You feel me? And just to double back, I mean, I don't mean to go all the way back, but just to double back about entering a barbershop. If you're new to the barbershop, I understand, and I get that maybe it can be a bit intimidating because you're entering a shop where probably everyone knows each other, all the clients, all the barbers, and vice versa. So we don't expect you to say, "Oh, hey guys," and I'm here. And no, just you know, it's, it's up to us to feel you, make you feel welcome into our shop. You know, and this is this is our domain. You're coming in here for a service, and we have to make you feel as comfortable as possible while getting this service. Exactly, and. Not every barbershop is going to be the exact same barbershop. What our barbershop is could be way different than what we have two blocks down the street from us. It just really depends on what you're looking for. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. You know, once you find your little shop, that's generally where you tend to stay at. You know, you build that relationship with your barber. And like I said, all the little things we said being on time, so what else did we come up with? Say hi to everyone, right? Those are little things that can help you with a better experience into coming into a barbershop. So you go into a shop, right? Um, you know you want to fade because you know the other shop they used to go to, which your barber moved to, I don't know, to Guam. So he used to give you fades. You come in here and say, you know what? I want a tape up because he used to take a little bit off the side. Okay, so I give you a tape up. I, if the cut is done. You're like, oh no, I didn't want that. I wanted it all the way around. So you wanted a fade, you didn't necessarily want a taper. So kind of knowing what it is that you want helps us out as barbers and helps us give you the best possible service. Exactly. Right? So the, I think like the first maybe five minutes of the cut, maybe not even, maybe like two, three minutes. It's all consultation. It's all just talking what you want, what are your goals, what, what do you want? You feel me? That's all it right. is. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Getting to, getting to know your client's hair, then getting to know you as a barber. Exactly, and with this communication, you can get out of the shop faster. If you got other things to do, you don't have to stand in a, sit in a chair for two hours because you flip-flopped on a haircut you want. It saves us time, it saves you time, it saves us stress, and it saves you stress. Please, don't be super difficult. Because I promise you, if you do that consistently to your barber, they're not going to take that time out of the day for you. I've done it not to be mean or anything, but sometimes people are just not worth my time. And it just gets to that point where literally your time is money. As a barber, your time is money. Literally, Absolutely. if one appointment gets late, you your whole day is just messed up. You either have to back up your whole appointment, all of them, or you just don't take that one customer. And that's, I feel kind of hard sometimes too you know absolutely but i think uh but i think as a as um as an entrepreneur as a barber actually you know we should actually respect ourselves you know and and and, and show them that we respect ourselves and by respecting our time if they're actually yeah, tardy in five ten minutes it's okay so but if they choose to come in 30 minutes 40 minutes late then we should be like no you know i can't really i can't really vouch for you no more you can't be in my client tell no more because you don't respect yourself because you're not on time. You know, a little bit of tardiness, yes, it's fine, but you know, you have to be on time. And right, right. We're not saying you have to be at one thirty appointment. You have to be there at one thirty. One thirty two is cool. One thirty. One thirty three. One thirty three. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. One thirty four. You pushing it a little bit. One thirty five. My man's. Where you at? You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Cause that, now, yeah. Because now you're minutes, really you know. taking time out of the haircut that I could have been finished. 
Yeah. For me to get my other clients. They make sure you question. Also, you know. They make sure you guys are question. That means we have to rush in order for there us to be on schedule for the next you point. Have rush. Yeah, you have to rush. Whose fault is it? Is theirs, you know. But also, it's our fault too. If we end up taking this time because they're late, who does that fall on? Absolutely. You feel me? Who could we really just blame that on? No one else but ourselves. Right. And you see, this is where that conversation between client and barber comes in. This barber etiquette we talking about, you feel me, G's? This part, is what we talking part about. Part one. <laughs> part one, you feel me? Part one. And that's what that's all we trying to say. We just trying to be some dope ass barbers trying to provide some dope ass service to all of our clientele. Quality service. And if you don't know any barber traditions, you don't know any barber, like, you're just intimidated, you don't know where to go, you don't know how to act, this is the video for you. You feel me? Say what's up to everyone, that's the first thing we talked about, right? Right. Coming in on time. Coming in on time. Right, coming in on time. You gotta be in on time, up. otherwise we can't get you. You know? The, the type of cut that you want. We, had that we definitely gotta talk about the type of cut you want as well. You feel me, Gs? Yeah. Like, that's really nothing crazy to it either. It's just, you just gotta be on your game. Yeah. That's all it is. The same way we are, y'all are. And if they're not up to up to par with our game, then hey, you know what? Game over, you dismissed. It's another bar down the street. This service. Absolutely. You know? And um, just, just not, let's not let's not hesitate to ask questions. Whether you're a client or the actual barber speaking to a client, let's not hesitate to ask questions. If you kind of misunderstood or didn't really get what the barber or client was saying to you, you know, like just have that conversation. It's all right. You know, that's 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 the whole part of the service to make sure that uh, we give the best service and you guys feel comfortable leaving our shop, you know? That's a big fact. Let's say right now you're not at the point where you want to be at, but three years from now you're cutting black youngster, you're cutting Kodak black or something, but you mess them up because you don't communicate. How does that look on you as a barber? You feel me? How does that really look on you? Doesn't matter about the image, but at the end of the day, we, we charge a certain fee when they, they come into the establishment. Boy, the, if their pockets are not intertwined with our price list, then hey, you know, you have you have to go to the other barbershop that charges, what, 10 hours? Exactly, they you don't. They sanitize their stuff when they, when they cross, cross contaminate everything possible, you know? Exactly. You, know, you leave that barbershop and you're feeling ill or you need to go to the hospital or, you know, you contracted COVID or something like that. Then you walk into Target, you buy a gallon. How much is a gallon of milk, y'all? Honestly, how much is a gallon yeah, of milk? Shit, it's like seven, ten bucks. Yo, a gallon of milk is seven bucks, my G. You go into Target, you're not going up to the guy's shit like, yo, I can get the shit for five? Nah, you don't do that, bro. You don't. Why would you go into a barbershop doing the same thing? You don't. Absolutely. If you want, if you want to pay me that, I will give you that type of service. But at the same time, I probably won't even take that bread because I'm not going to give you that type of service. Right. Absolutely. We're not gonna give you that type of service. You feel me? If a barber wants to do that, let them be. And you see how your haircut comes out. But when you really want a nice ass haircut, you pull up to 376A main shop. You get a haircut for my man's ear. You get a haircut for my man's beard. You already know the three trio killing it over here. Oh, Thank you for looking, watching this video. We really appreciate you. Appreciate you as a client. We appreciate you as a barber. As a subscriber as a viewer thank you so much we'll definitely come out with a part two later y'all part two coming soon